Hi friends, and welcome back to another My Healthy Sweet Tooth video. My name is Hannah, and today I will be showing you how to make these soft, easy, indulgent cinnamon sugar donuts. They're one bowl, take only 15 minutes to make, and a simple list of ingredients. So without further ado, let's push up those sleeves and get baking. These donuts are dairy-free, vegan, and can be made nut-free. Here are the ingredients you will need. Two cups white whole wheat flour, one and a half cups organic cane sugar, one flax egg, which is created by combining two tablespoons of water with one tablespoon ground flax egg. You mix it together and let it thicken into a gel. Two tablespoons applesauce, one tablespoon vanilla extract, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a quarter cups of almond milk or oat milk if you are not free. In a large glass bowl, we are going to start by whisking together all the dry ingredients. This means the flour, the salt, the sugar, the baking powder, and the cinnamon. Once all the dry ingredients have been well combined, we can go ahead and add the remaining wet ingredients. This means the almond milk, the flax egg, the applesauce, and the vanilla extract, and we are going to switch to a spatula to really get everything off the edges of the bowl and evenly incorporate everything together. go ahead and give everything a good whisk. Once you have a nice, well-incorporated batter, make sure you don't overmix this mixture. You can go ahead and let it sit aside for five minutes to rest and let the baking powder activate. Now, this next step will look a little different for everybody. If you're using a donut maker, obviously this process will look different depending on the donut maker. Mine is just a five mold one and they're mini donuts. So if you have a bigger one, the baking time might be different, but regardless, you want to spray this down with non-stick spray and let it preheat while the donut batter sets aside. Alternatively, if you're making this recipe and you're using a mold or a silicone of some sort, you're going to want to spray that as well, pop it in the oven at 350 and bake for 15-20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So like I said before, this step will look different for everyone, but the result will come out the same. Crispy, soft, and delicious. My donut maker is officially done preheating, and now I'm going to give it a good spray with some non-stick spray. I'm going to spray the top and the bottom, and at this time I'm using a spoon to spoon the batter into the donut molds because they're tiny. I'm going to use a knife to pry them out after about three to five minutes of baking, and then I'm going to transfer them to a wire cooling rack. Again, you can follow along with this step if you have a donut maker. If not, just let them rest in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they look cold. Around. Take them out, let them cool in the molds for about five minutes, pop them out, let them cool on the rack, and then I'll walk you through the next step in a couple minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my miniature spoon and spoon the um, batter into the donut molds. You kind of want to work fast here because they'll cook as you're spooning, so. I 
a toothpick in, it came out clean, and my donuts are looking nice and golden, so now I'm gonna gently pry them out using a knife and gently transfer them to the water cooling rack. They're gonna be a little hot, so just be careful not to burn yourself or touch the hot oil. As you can see, our first set of donuts came out perfectly. Repeat this process with the remaining batter until all your donuts come out looking like this. It's okay if you have a few mistakes, it happens. But now I'm gonna walk you through the next steps of how we turn these plain vanilla donuts into cinnamon sugar ones. We're gonna start with a couple more ingredients. Now that I've finished melting down the half a cup of vegan butter in a small bowl, we are gonna combine a half a teaspoon of cinnamon with a half a cup of organic cane sugar into it create the cinnamon sugar mixture. So the process will go as follows. We'll dunk one cold donut in the vegan butter and then toss it around in the cinnamon sugar and then we'll be left with a soft cinnamon sugar donut. The rest are just finishing cooking off in the donut maker, but until then, let's go ahead and mix these two ingredients together. Now that most of our donuts are done baking and cooling, we can go ahead and take a pastry brush Dip it in the vegan butter, and I'm just gonna lightly brush the tops of each donut with them so the cinnamon sugar mixture will stick. This is a good chance to let that butter drip down the sides of each donut before. What we're now gonna do, the fun part, is take the donut that's covered in the vegan butter and just dunk it and swirl it around, mix it around in the cinnamon sugar mixture, really toss it around. And if you run out of the cinnamon sugar mixture, it's super easy to make. It's just a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of sugar. The measurements are the same as following, but you should get something that looks a little bit like this. We're gonna go ahead and repeat that with the rest of the donuts. And that's it. That's how you make these simple, delicious, easy, one bowl cinnamon sugar donuts. They came out beautifully and they'll make your house smell like an authentic bakery. I want to thank you all again so much for watching this episode of My Healthy Sweet Tea and choosing to support Medfield TV's Grow channel. Thank you so much. And if you like this recipe, give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below some other recipe ideas I should try out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.